Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming in here today to talk about how to use your air conditioner in your RV. I'm also going to be touching on the best way when you when you have a Dometic, the, how you should be using that thermostat, because people I know people are having issues, and I think. I know what the cause is, and I'm going to explain that to you here. So, for more information on, you know, this information, well, for more information, no. If you have any questions on things that I'm going over here today, by all means, just shoot them down below. I'd be more than happy to um, try and answer them for you. Or you can reach out to me. My contact information will be down below this video as well. Now let's first talk about how to properly operate this Dometic thermostat for both your heat and AC. This is very delicate. You only want to be tapping the buttons here, whether you're tapping the mode or the arrows up and down. Tap them very lightly. One of the issues that people are having is they're pushing on that more like a, it's a, a button for a light and it does not need a lot of pressure and that's what causes the problem now the other thing what you can do on this thing is if you hit these two arrows together you will see that it will change from Fahrenheit to Celsius but again you just need to tap them very light, very lightly on that now when you're going to run your air conditioner what you do is during the day I would recommend that you have the fan speed in auto and then go to your air conditioner and turn it on in the evening when you want to go ahead and run your air conditioner I would tell you to run this on high or low and run your air conditioner and let me explain why so the reason for running the air conditioner during the day on auto is that allows your air conditioner to cycle a, a little different than the other way and I'm going to explain the two to you so during the day what will happen is when and if it your camper reaches temperature and the fan is in the auto mode when the comp when the compressor shuts off the fan will shut off and you're not going to have any air circulation but for most of the time during the day you're out of your camper so it really doesn't matter and I think that if you're coming in your camper to maybe make lunch or whatever I think you're gonna find it comfortable enough for you so an air AC mechanic told me the other day that by by running the fan in the on mode all the time that you run the risk of humidity levels rising inside your RV now I don't know I don't know if that's really the case or not that I'm going by what he's told me I can tell you that when I use the air conditioner I'm running it during the day I run it in the auto mode and then at night I'm running the fan in the high mode so it's on all the time so when the compressor goes off I have continual air circulation but I also have continuous noise because what happens is and for those of you, you, you could test this and see what you think yourselves. But I, I have a small, it's a 22 foot uh, camper. And when if I, I've tried to run it both ways to kind of get an idea of what it's like, just to get the feel. And what happens is when I run it in the auto mode, when it reaches temperature and it shuts off, it does get muggy in here. And of course, then I hear the AC go off and I hear it come back on. So I'm waking up both times. By running the fan in the high mode, I do not notice a temperature disparity at all during the evening as I'm sleeping. And I have the constant noise, as we call white noise, that allows you not to have hear the noises from outside as much. So that's my recommendation for you when you're running it. Now, depending on how you have your air conditioner or your thermostat, depends on how you can set that. Some have the Coleman one where you just move it from auto to on. Um, others, you can just keep pushing the button until it goes from cool high to cool high auto. You know, so you have different ways. So try that 
and see if you experience better temperature control in your camper. Hopefully that helps you and hopefully these people, you, those of you out there that have the Dometic thermostats, hopefully you're going to have less issues by utilizing that Dometic thermostat in the better way, well the proper way, so that you're not damaging it. So thanks for watching and I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.